Today's tutorial is an update to my previous video tutorial, the link to which you can see on your computer screen right now. I'll open up a fresh project with a blank template. I'll implement Ionic storage for that. The folders are opened for us, I'll show it. Inside SRC app folder, open up app.module.ts. Here import the Ionic storage module. Previously this was not present, Ionic updated this, so I am updating my video tutorial. I won't get any complicated example in this video tutorial, I'll just update how to make it work. So import Ionic storage module from Ionic storage and then instead of listing it inside provider, list it inside import array so ionic storage module inside this you can specify the um, database name or database preferences so next thing is go to the file where you want to implement ionic storage usually practically speaking it would be useful inside a data provider file here i'm just showing you the working of ionic storage for complete implementation detail please visit the link present on your computer screen right now so import the storage class create its instance i'll call it storage2 so inside this dot storage dot ready you could write this get and set code so I'll just directly show it to you. You can see the ready method in the on the blog post, the link to which is present inside the description section of this YouTube video. So this is how you set and get the values stored inside Ionic storage. Uh, I have explained it in detail inside the link I am showing you on your computer screen right now. So that's it. This is how you use ionic storage in your ionic 2 projects so set you could set an object array number or a string or anything like that and you could retrieve using the key using get method so the procedure is import ionic storage module list it inside imports and then import the storage class create its instance and then use its set and get method to set the value and get the value as well. So for the code, please visit the link present inside the description section of this YouTube video. For more details about getting and setting the values, please visit the link I'm showing you on your computer screen right now. This link is also present in the description section of this YouTube video. Please share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, Stack Overflow, etc. Stay subscribed to our blog technotip.com and to our YouTube channel and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.